you see shooting out from the castle are four large pink tendrils. This entire castle has been put together by these fiendish creatures called mimics. All we wanted to ever do was put on a lovely performance for you with the prince as our lead. Either you fix him and put him back, <laughs> or you let him sing for you and you give him the life he deserves. I, I'm always down for performance. I love live music. Okay. I have a flute. As well. Bernie, summon some shit. And uh, Dolores, you... Uh... It's my whistle stick. You see the prince just sort of like... <laughs> and all of a sudden, his body jerks. I am Rantam, greeter of the gates. And it's so lovely to see you again. Welcome back to another episode of Sword AF. When we last left our heroes, they were fighting their way through the castle, which turned out to be a mimic colony. The first room they entered, they needed to make the prince who had died and been brought back to life uh, happy. They suggested doing that through letting the prince perform and cheering for him so that the door could unlock. But our crew had other plans and transplanted a soul into his body. Uh, let's see how it goes. So. You all are standing there, uh, Dolores and Fernie. You are warming up so that you can perform with the prince to unlock this magically sealed door. Now, Coda and Bug, you have had a moment by yourselves uh, to recognize that the prince had no soul, and Bug, you transplanted a soul. You just wanted a fresh soul in the body, and so then going directly off of what you said, a uh, Rumpom soul got transplanted in there. Um, so now Rumpom is here like, Hi, I'm back, hello! I guess I should have been specific about which soul. I'm so glad you weren't. Yeah. Um, okay, well. So, to catch you up to speed. Yeah, I need a new <laughs> title. This is all different, I'm told. Um, yeah, you're in the body of a prince. Yeah. Great. Yeah. Wouldn't uh, be the first hat, no, it is. Ew, no, yeah, it definitely is. Don't be crude. No, I used to be a surgeon. Oh. Oh, okay. So, um, yeah, Rum Pum, your only job is to just you know, talk less and just hang. And you do have a performance coming up, so. Oh, okay. Um, okay, so side note. So hold on. I've got, <laughs> so arrow through the head, remember that very briefly. Um, afterlife, every religion is wrong, just so you know. Real weird, real different. Uh, I'm back. Tell that to your God. I don't think that's true. Anyway. <laughs> <laughs> What's my title? What am I doing? I want to help you out here. You're my best friends I ever had, but it's... What are we doing? Your title is Prince, okay? Prince of... I remember the name. It's it's San, Sans... Sans... Sanor. Okay, that's great! Oh, I remember that. Okay, we did Good it! Good job, Fernie! Hey. You just unlocked a memory. Wow! Yeah. So I am warming up my voice right now, getting ready to perform. Uh -huh. That's what you have to do. We are going to perform in order to get out of this room. Stops right there. Yeah. Yeah, still not attracted. What the f <laughs> What do I gotta do? I'm ripped, look at me! No, I'm down to help you and then unlock the door because we perform good. Sure, okay. And it's a dance? Uh, I think it's more of a performance. Yeah, with song. music and song and a little clown work. You've got it in you. <laughs> a, little, a little miming if you have it. A little Comedia dell'arte, if you will. Yeah, a little visual, little visual arts for you. A, a variety show. Yeah, with oh. a water feature. Oh, okay. <laughs> like a song and dance, man. I could do that. All right. Uh, okay. Okay. Great. Simplify it. Amazing. Sure. Well, no time like the present. We're just gonna drink our water and try not to spit it out. Rumpum in his very awkward, oh. shambly, uh, dead prince body, uh, weakened at Bernie's himself up on a stage, um, and uh, you two join him. Yes. Fernie is going to summon some animals to, to actually <laughs> okay. perform. Okay. okay. So uh, Fernie summons, he, he, he summons some new beings mm -hmm. uh, in, a, in a similar type of style as Reuben. But uh, right. what we see are four weasels show up and they, they, they get summoned up. They're wearing like white t-shirts and button up shirts. Uh, the lead <laughs> okay. singer has glass, like black, Glasses on. <laughs> it's like a classic, you know, guitar. One of them has a bass. One oh, of them's got a drum yeah. Set. Yep. Lead singer's like, "What's up? We're Weasel." <laughs> oh. Is that yeah. A joke? It's a Weezer joke. <laughs> okay. God. But it's Weasel. That's, that was yeah. pretty good. good. He yeah. thought about that for a long time. Yeah. <laughs> that was my lunch break. Um, there okay. There you go. So that's, <laughs> there you, go. You, had, you had Death Leopard. You had Seal. What is wrong with you? Oh, just weasels. seal. Well, I also no, I think weasels you like weasel. No, or Fer beetles. Fer Fernie's like listening. He's like, look, I, I, there's also another band where the lead singer's named Dave Mole. Uh, 
Uh, there's just Pitbull. Yeah! <laughs> you want me to, I can take Weasel back no, and no, throw no. a Pitbull. I Weasel. would love a little Pitbull. Okay, we can, <laughs> I can throw Worldwide. a Pitbull as well. <laughs> a no, fifth one? Go with your first hit. I think no. Weasel. All right, Weasel. Weasel's, Weasel's, perfect. So Weasel's Weasel. out there, they're like, all right, man, like, we got good songs, man. People love us, so I don't know what's wrong. <laughs> so we got four Weasels and a, a horrible tree robot. Um, <laughs> so are you going to yeah. do anything for yourself? So I'm going to grab some fabric from the couch, and I'm going to rip it, and I'm going to throw Throw it up and bring it down, and then I'm going to do a little um, aerial. Um, uh, You're like, going to be doing like silks, like pink. Yeah, so like I'm going to get pink? I'm going to get in some silks, <laughs> and I'm going to wrap my thighs around it okay. and come up straight up forward okay. with my whistle stick. So my thighs are in a full split, okay. and I have my whistle stick. Does she need okay. to roll for that? Yeah. Yeah. So, so no, absolutely. No, I don't. <laughs> No, I don't. So much. All right. No, so, I don't. Yes, you do. Fine. Um, so, um, okay. <laughs> so that is the performance, and then Rum Pom is, uh, I guess, uh, what role do you want Rum Pom to, to take? What are you going to tell Rum Pom to do? I think Rum Pom could take lead vocals. Lead vocals, <laughs> and, and Weasel can can do backup back up and yeah. right. and instrumental and amazing. And uh, Fernie also was like, I can do some instrumental as well. Great. Oh, so can that, I oh. dip myself in a little bowl of water so that what? when I get pulled up and I spin, it sprays? Yes, you can. How many times do I have to What's going on? So here's here's what we're Freddy gonna. Freddie can also lay down and be a stage. Yeah, lay him down, transform Wait, Freddy. No, Freddie has to get, be my watch and also be a stage. I could be the microphone or whatever equipment. I could be. I, I think, could be an amplifier. I can be an amp. I think you are all in a room right now, <laughs> and I think we don't maybe need. A stage. I like it like vines with as wires connecting speakers. <laughs> it's like yeah. a bunch of different parts. Yeah. Right We'll start with Dolores. Yeah, what's up? Dolores, I'm gonna need an acrobatics roll from you for the silks and a performance roll for the whistle. Okay, let me know what roll for the water. Three. three for, so that's three on acrobatics, so that is. Wait, 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 wait. Up, 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 up. A total of eight. Eight. And then go ahead and roll for the whistle. <laughs> five and. Um, <laughs> <laughs> wait, where's. Oh, uh, five plus five. My performance is high because I am a performer right. at heart. Ten. So that's an eight and a ten. So, um, Dolores. You want to do the water bit? No, that's fine. That can, okay. That's part of it. Let me know. That's all part of it. Um, <laughs> so, Dolores, you um, have have bitten off more than you can chew. Oh, um, and that's what they say about all mothers. But trust me, I'm I'll survive. They sure do. Um, you've bitten off more than you can chew, and what you start doing is. Um, not bad on its own, but like because you're doing all of these things at once, it's a little confusing. It's a little avant-garde. It's a little sad. Um, whereas we've seen you be athletic and acrobatic before, you're kind of just like you're kind of just like stuck in these silks, and you're just like wet, and they're like damp. You're just like ah. But can I have a big and smile on my face? Yes, you've got a big smile, and you're trying your best to perform with this uh, whistle, and it's not the most pleasing sound. Um, <laughs> let's put that together with. Um, Shane, I need you to roll for Weasel. For Weasel? Yeah. See how good this performance is? Yeah. yeah. See what era they're in? <laughs> That's 11. Plus. Uh, plus what, what performance. are we? Performance. Oh, performance. Um, let's see. Your performance we can see. Oh, that is a negative one. So we're at a 10. <laughs> okay, so again, um, wow. Weasel, this is your first time, uh, Fernie, casting more than one spirit at once. And you yeah. can sort of tell that like your control over them is not quite what it would normally be. Um, so like, they're all a little bit out of time. Like, they're fine. It's like a middle school recital, but like, it's not It's not top tier weasel that we all know and love. Okay, and I'm watching this at the table, and I'm like, I'm like cringing, big cringe. So I'm gonna, for the rest of the villagers who are watching, I'm guessing, mm -hmm. I'm gonna cast Minor Illusion, and uh, in front of them, it says, this is your brain on mead, <laughs> while they're doing whatever they're doing. Okay. That's okay. Great. That's yeah, awesome. Um, and I think everyone is staring at me, clapping. I'm like, <laughs> and Weasel singing a song called Cork and Meads. Yeah, great. <laughs> oh, great. Um, so Fernie, <laughs> what are you doing in this moment? Uh, can Fernie? Uh, Fernie has the front of his chest like kind of opens up, and then like a wooden uh, xylophone appears, and he, yes. he like takes out things and starts like trying to play them. Great. Awesome. No, so you roll not the to the rhythm of anything. You roll a performance but... check, please. 
that's a, that's a, that's a 10. Another that's 10. also 10. So again, Jesus. like, not with any particular rhythm in mind, but you sure are hitting the, blo- the blocks. Uh, you're doing it. You really are. And then finally, we have Rum Pum. Because um, don't worry, I'm not just going to do this to you. Um, Rum Pum. <laughs> You guys, I rolled an 18. <laughs> <laughs> Rumpum rocks it. So Rumpum uh, sees this uh, and looks out at the audience whose face is just sort of like, because they're seeing um, these horrible beasts that they watch murder their most beloved monarch um, uh, just get up on stage and just sort of start like wailing and hitting shit. There's four ghosts, um, and then uh, the body of their like desiccated prince hobbles up to the front and is like, all right, uh, here we go. <clears throat> These are the nights that you wish you were here. And everyone's like, oh, 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 cool. And the audience starts to cheer and laugh and yell. And it doesn't matter that everything else is really weird and uncomfortable because it's working out great. However, Coda and Bug, you two sort of have the um, the burden of knowing that like these are your friends up here and this is not the best they could do. And because you're so focused on that, um, the, the sound coming from the xylophone and the, the silks and the whistle and the and the weasels, uh, they're all kind of messing with your brain a little bit. I need you both to give me a wisdom safe. Uh-oh. Ooh, this is a 15, all right. Plus two. Eight. So that's a 10. Um, so, <laughs> Bug, um, you are looking at this like shambling prince body with the soul of a frog man in it, just sort of wailing as all these things are happening behind him. And all at once, this kind of just hits you, like, what the f- you just did with your day to that man. Uh, you killed him, you brought him back, you put the wrong soul in his body. <laughs> You're starting to feel bad. I'm gonna need you to roll 2d4 of psychic damage. <laughs> oh my god. Oh, we know we're inside a giant man. <laughs> <laughs> Two, Two four. You like six psychic damage. Are you fucking kidding me? <laughs> no, I'm actually really not. You get a little bit of a nosebleed. Oh my god. You should have performed. It's way more fun. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's great. <laughs> so I'm like, maybe prayer doesn't work. Oh, shit. Yeah, uh, the performance is so bad, you start to question your uh, belief system. Oh, shit. Um, now, Coda, uh, yeah. people are looking at uh, this sign and say, uh, you know, they're like, this is your brain on me. Mm-hmm. Um, and, and the chef, the chef in the room uh, mm-hmm. looks toward it and then looks at you and goes, Oi, mate, is that true about me? Yeah, it's really poisonous for your body and it's addictive and it's a depressant and a lot of people don't know that. Oh, I need to stop drinking forever. And he puts down the bottle and resigns himself <gasps> to never drink again. But he did it cold turkey. Let me roll real quick. Oh, oh shit. Fuck. That is a seven. Okay, so uh, he starts to like shake and go into withdrawals. Oh, and the my whole God. audience turns around at <laughs> this shaking sick man. <laughs> this is you guys solving puzzle room number one at this shaking and Whoops. sick man. Um, this is just like sputtering on the ground. They're just like, uh, he, he, they don't know what's wrong. Nobody knows what's wrong. Coda, you're an agent of chaos, oh, dude. I'm Coda, so what'd you do? <laughs> Coda, you should come up here. I didn't do anything. Yeah. Oh, said you wish you were from. Where's my water feature? <laughs> um, <laughs> this is a Courage the Cowardly Dog episode. It does feel like Courage the Cowardly well, Dog. As it stands, we're gonna sort of count that as like one round of like performance combat. Oh. So there's a man shaking on the ground. There is a, you're bleeding from the nose and you've lost your religion. Um, and the rest of you, you're, Sorry, real, um? you're real wet. Um, <laughs> okay, well, I'm more than that. You're, I am so in full spinning. split. You're also spinning. I'm in full split, <laughs> playing a whistle stick. I'm more than just wet. This is why I don't like rum pum. You're in. <laughs> you're you're wet. I'm. You're in mourning. <laughs> you're horny. Something. And you're a uh, mess. She's spinning. Some of the water hits uh, Fernie's face, and like where the water hits, like little flowers bloom, and he's just like, ah, oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Daffodils. Um, uh, uh, Kevin the moth flutters down, and is just like, oh, brother. <laughs> <laughs> So after he, has, he has earmuffs on. He's like, oh, oh god! They're just, they're just tiny little like they're like the little uh, dandelion fronds. Yeah. Just like, oh, buddy. Um, so that's one round of performance combat. Um, what do y'all want to do? You've, you're seeing this scene in front of you. Can I retract Weasel and throw out a different musician and see if they can do better? 
Yeah, man. Okay, oh, so no. I'm gonna take back Weasel. <laughs> I, I take them back, and they're just like, oh, no, 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 no. <laughs> Give us another chance. <laughs> they're like, ah! And then and Rumpel's someone's like, I know where they're going. <laughs> Nobody would like it. And then I, I throw up. I throw out Pitbull. All right. <laughs> just Pitbull. Can you describe, yes. describe Pitbull? Pitbull <laughs> just, it, it just like, just like it just, it's literally a Pitbull on all fours, but With sunglasses. sunglasses. Right. And a chain. Yeah. Uh, but and, bald. And fully bald. <laughs> just no fur. No fur on Right the here. But fur right here. Right here. Just in a goatee. Just, 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 dark, just dark fur right there. <laughs> He's just like, Mr. 305. Finally, my music. Right. Yeah. Gonna roll a 305. <laughs> um, Let's turn okay, the so negative to positive. Mr. Roll five. Bernie, uh, your mind is suddenly filled with images of Miami. No, I'm kidding. Um, <laughs> Pitbull is there. Um, are you trying to perform for another round of music, everybody? I, I yeah, think let's I'm gonna go give for it. A shot it. for a better performance because Pitbull right. can. I'll help. So I'll help. we're gonna have another couple, two rolls for you. One, ath- excuse me, one acrobatics. One, or do you want to change up your routine? Oh, I. It'd be cool if I could. Uh, Wrap my thighs around so I could go upside down, and so the hair, so my hair could dunk in the water feature. You okay, just, and so you you're, you're abandoning. Wash your hair. <laughs> no, I want to get up there and twist it and have more water spray. You are abandoning the whistle aspect. Um, the whistle can take a second break. Okay, so we're, uh, it's, there's no whistle right now. Uh, I'm gonna need you to roll acrobatics. Okay. Um. That is it. Wait, wow, wait, 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 wait. Two plus five, so it's a seven. Two plus four. Okay. Okay, so that's a six. Uh, Shane, what are you doing? If I also cast Enhance Ability uh, and I use Eagle Splendor on Pitbull to increase his charisma, would that inf- affect performance? It would give, yes. Uh, uh, it would give the target has advantage on um, charisma checks. Yeah, yeah. We Sounds like that. a good brand deal. Yeah, right. so I also, Fernie like, like goes over and touches Pitbull and he's like, you're gonna f- Kill this man! Like uh, I'm giving you Eagle Splendor. He's like, Dolly. <laughs> <laughs> uh, that is a uh, 16 plus. Uh, we'll take your performance. Uh, per- performance minus one. Ah, uh, okay, so that's 15, but it's advantage. So roll it again just to see if he gets a crit mm, hit. Nice. 18. 18. Okay, so that's a se- okay. 17, and then for you, Fernie, as playing the xylophone or whatever else you're. Uh, the xylophone goes back up, and then now it's now it's actually now it, co- it goes goes up, then comes back down, and there's two wooden. It's a uh, turntable, and so he's gonna try to like. <laughs> Go ahead, <laughs> roll. Add me. some funk. And that's a uh, six. Going to a five. <laughs> All right. So, Love it. So Dolores. Um, yeah. This is. Maybe you're out of energy. Maybe you, you know, not having the whistle kind of threw you off balance. Yeah. Um, but like, you are, uh, you, you do that thing where you kind of like slip down the ropes a little bit and fall, but you like catch yourself at the end, but you're dunking your hair in the water, but you went like too low and it's like kind of in your nose, like, ha, 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 <coughs> and you're kind of coughing it up um, on the front row, and they're like, yay. Um, and then uh, Pitbull uh, does great. You start to hear like the reggae song, like, do, 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 do. As he's like rapping how he does, <laughs> yeah. you pull out these turntables, not connected to anything. So it's just two discs of wood on other wood. You just feel like yeah. <laughs> as you're just scraping wood blocks against wood blocks. Um, so that's a little bit rough. And then Rum Pom <laughs> rolls a 19. I swear uh, to God. Rum-pum. Wow. Um, so Rum Pum does uh, an awesome Pitbull style rap along with Pitbull. Hell yeah. Coda and Bug, you are once again listening to this. And between the scraping of sounds and watching this old lady <laughs> just fall into a puddle of water and waterboard herself, I need you both <laughs> to roll. What the hell? I need you both to roll wisdom saves again. What's going on with this shaking man next to us? Oh, he's dying. Okay, do we need to it's worry about him? <laughs> I am not an old lady. You roll a two. <laughs> plus one, plus one. Okay, okay, 19 plus two. Okay, you're you're good this time. You've collected yourself and you've thought, um, maybe there is a god. We'll see. <laughs> um, no more blood. But Coda, I'm gonna need you to uh, take 2d4 of damage for me, please. I need you to take 2d4 of damage. Okay. <laughs> Three. Four. Four. That's seven damage, Jesus. Yeah, I know how to do math. I'm saying it for the audience who doesn't. Koda is mad. I'm also definitely out of spells. <laughs> oh, for sure. Any way that I can cast darkness because this is a little embarrassing for me right now. Okay, absolutely. <laughs> Great. Yeah, you couldn't like do it. 
Cast, okay. Are you casting darkness on the audience? Or I'm yourself? casting darkness on, <laughs> the, um, stage. on the stage. The okay. No. First, you're dipping. You're on your the hands. table, right? I'm picturing you on the table. Are they on the table? Yeah, they're on the table. Can yeah. I just cast darkness on myself? Um, Don't do it is, that. It is, a, it is a radius, so let's see what the darkness is. Why don't I just is. cast darkness on the audience? Great. So they can see me get up and it looks like I was up the whole time. Why don't you just kill them? <laughs> <laughs> I'm about to. Can I just Eldritch Blast all these people? <laughs> yeah. um, no, can I cast darkness on the audience for a little bit? Yeah, let me quickly take So a I can get this. out of the water okay. with respect? You cast darkness over the audience. This, this huge like half sphere just envelops them in pure pitch blackness. They can't see a damn thing. But that unfortunately includes uh, Coda and Bug. Can I do Got that uh, Finding Nemo joke where Dory goes, who turned the lights off? <laughs> yeah, go ahead yes, and do you that. Can. Go ahead. Go ahead. I, I just did. <laughs> let's uh, let's get it clean. Uh, who turned the lights off? <laughs> <laughs> I want you to leave all that in. I'm after getting physically hurt from seeing this performance. I'm going to grab Bug by the bag on his back. It's a sack. I'm going to grab Bug by his sack. <laughs> And then Ooh, I'm gonna. That sounds weird. I'm gonna jump up on the table while the audience is still in darkness. I'm gonna push Rum Pum, uh, just push him. Uh, yeah. uh, and, and I'm gonna then, go, Kelwick, finally here to save me. <laughs> Cause I don't see anything. <laughs> yeah, you don't see it. And then I'm just gonna be like, Dolores, Fernie, door, now. <coughs> yeah, okay. You, all you hear is the audience in, in grand confusion, um, and uh, this man is still shaking from alcohol <laughs> withdrawal. Oh, fuck. <laughs> Sorry. Yes. That's, what, that's what it looks like. That's what it looks what like. you did to him. Uh uh. Um, he did that to himself. Don't put that on me. Yes. Good boundaries. Thank you. And so you are headed to the door and you're just going to try opening it? Yeah, I'm going to try opening it. Okay. Um, It opens. Oh. <gasps> So we didn't even need the performance, you guys. Oh. Well, we no. d well, I I did. You know what? It was more for you. Thank You're right. You. So fixing the prince's body made him really happy, and making the prince oh. happy was the stipulation for opening the door. Um, but it was very nice of y'all to also decide to perform for that audience. We could have just <laughs> after I made this man. Run Nobody from. checked. <laughs> Tipple starts to pee, and then he just goes. It disappears. <laughs> Dolly! That was, that's, he did do that once. I it saw did, it. He it did weird. do that. All right, so you guys enter uh, this next room. I like him packing up my turntable and stuff, and I'm kind of bummed because I was really into it. Yeah. I'm squeezing out my hair. There's a lot of uh, water and some sparkles. A bunch of bugs just And I'm like, <laughs> have you guys performed before, or did you decide to try it for the first time? Every night when I go to bed. Which oh. is... Yeah, I, I, not with Dolores, and I, I feel like that was really like, we finally, I felt like we I had a moment. I felt really good about that. You felt that. like you had a we're moment. Really, I think we're really a team. Yeah. yeah. You know, that's a you dynamic too? that we haven't seen much. <laughs> yes. That's a, di that's, a, that's a team we haven't seen much in this in our adventures together, I, and I think we really. I felt really in tune with you. Like, I, I felt safe, and I felt, yeah. like, I felt tr like trust. I think we hit a rhythm on like, Anything else? Yeah, me too. Yeah, it was it was really good. It was really it was no. Really I felt good. like that was a waste of our time. Bug. <laughs> and no, I'm gonna be honest. I'm really coming into my own these days. Call it crazy, but I thought that it was a waste of our time, okay. and I felt like that didn't help our goals at all. Wow. Wow. Well, well, this is really different projecting. after he died. <laughs> That's what I think. Well, so you think you two were a team? That's really cool. Think, well, we're all a team, but I just mean like I feel like Bernie and I Dolores are the performance. Really work well together. Yeah. That's really cool. Maybe yeah. we'll be Coda and Bug, and you guys can be Dolores and. <laughs> Wood guy. Hey. Okay. Hey. His no, we're all a, we're all a team. You're being nasty. If one of us <laughs> fails, we all fail. Yeah. Wow. I feel like roles are reversed. Take over, Coda. <laughs> so I don't I, know why I got sassy. Sorry. I think what. Yeah. I, just, I got an idea. We could call. I, I have an idea for what we could call our group. Uh, so. Uh, I'm I'm beautiful. You're beautiful. You're an asshole. You're an asshole. So we could be Abba. Yeah. So, uh, <laughs> <laughs> I actually love that. Yeah, I love that word. I think it means mom. <laughs> <laughs> um, so you hear voices from the other room, um, namely Rum Pum, and you just hear like, Oh no! Oh, she's gone out of my life again. I've never been sadder. And then you just see, and like uh, this magic uh, barrier goes across the door and locks it behind you, because the prince is back to being sad. Um, oh, and I then can't. you just hear him go, oh, wait a minute. Hi, I'm, I'm, the, I'm the prince. You all have to do what I say. And everyone's like, yeah, okay, yeah, okay, sounds good. And he's just like, oh, sick. Wow, it really worked out. Yeah. So glad we left. I feel like that's, that's his journey, not ours. Yeah. Not ours, ABBA. No, ABBA. No, I, I don't like, I don't identify as an asshole. I, I regret saying it, I think it's actually bad. Okay. okay. What about camp van? 
Huh? Camp van? That's yeah. That's somehow worse. <laughs> okay. So why doesn't everyone give me a perception check about this room? Uh, Shilly. ow. Whoa! Nat 20. Oh, damn. 18. Two 18s and a nat 20! Wait, 20. 15. I did 20. Oh. Great, 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 great. Oh, well, perception, so I have, uh, that's plus three. So I had 21. Either way. 17. Y'all are killing it. We know what this place is. Amazing. So everybody knows exactly what's up and you're perceiving a lot of things. So you have not been in this room before, but since it's warm and there's this thickness to the air, you recognize that this is clearly the boiler room. This is sort of like the, the guts of the castle. And as you look around on the wall, um, you realize that you know these, these mimic creatures have done a wonderful job of replicating buildings and different parts of it and keeping to their role, but here that magic is spreading thin a little bit. So while there are still these high brick walls, you start to notice that there are these little protrusions in the wall that are almost like pulsating. You can tell they're alive, even though they're trying to appear like uh, either furniture or a piece of the building. Um, so there's one on a very high up platform in the distance. Um, this room has, is bigger than it has any right to be. Um, there's a ladder connecting it. There's, there's one um, that is, uh, there's one in sort of this like pool area in the corner where there's like hot water just sort of bubbling up, not quite boiling, but you can tell it's like simmering. Um, and there might be a couple more in the distance uh, around different corners. Um, what do you do? Uh, can I detect magic? You can, so. Specifically towards that door? Yes, so even though this entire space is radiating and pulsing with this blue magic, um, the door specifically has like a plate of magic in front of it. So you can tell that this door is locked by magic. It is once again mm. another room to be solved. The door is locked by magic, you guys. Got it. And we have to solve again. Okay. Something right. puzzle. We could perform. We're not performing. Okay, well, think it over. I'm um, thinking. I'm but we have to, you know, I wiped the blood from my nose. Puzzle. I thought. I know. I don't mean to break up your guys' chemistry artistically, but my God, we still have break blood on our Break it up. Break it up. Oh. I thought that was because you enjoyed it. Fernie's gonna go check out where that heat is emanating from. Just the recess in the wall? Yeah. Got it. Okay, so uh, roll um, either perception or investigation for me, or maybe uh, even arcana. Perception would have the plus three. Everything Great. else is zero. Go for it. That's a three. <laughs> okay, so. Um, I'm following Fernie. So that's a six, but. So that's a six. Uh, Fernie, this, uh, you know what this is, there's a hot hole. There's a lot of hot holes uh, in the yeah. wall. Um, you know, hot holes in the wall sometimes, the hole's hot. Um, and there's something coming out of it. And you can tell there's like a pulsating in there. It's just like a normal little hot hole. Uh, guys, this is a hot hole. Okay. okay. I'm, I'm gonna walk over to the platform. All right, there's a, there's a uh, ladder leading up to it. Okay, I guess I'm gonna climb the ladder. Great. Um, so you get to the very top. And uh, again, there's, some, there's, there's heat emanating from the wall. Um, roll perception for me or investigation, whichever is higher. Both are plus five. Eight, 16. Ooh. 18. 18 plus five, great, 23. So you can tell um, in, in, this, in this wall, there is um, this pulsating, almost organic living thing um, that is attached to um, the rest of this system here. So you sort of see like a line running down along the wall from this leading to the door. Um, and around this organic thing that exists here, um, you notice like a little metal um, uh, enclosure around it. So it's, it's almost like a metal, um, like a framing aspect to it. Um, so something organic and then something metal leading all the way down to the door. Where the can I reach in? From. Um, you can reach in, yes. Okay, I reach in. Roll constitution for me. That's a five plus mm, one. Okay, Chance, I need you to take one D4 lightning damage for me. Lightning? I get zapped? You get zip zapped. Three. Three, okay. But you see, um, as you do that, it sort of like, it, it rustles a little bit and the line shoots down and the door shakes. Ooh. The wall burned me. First of all, are you okay? Yeah, I'm fine. Okay, second of all, I think that we just need to get through this wall. Yeah, but what is this metal shit? <gasps> what if I send my mage hand and it gets burned? Well, why, do you, why do you want to burn the hand? But I can, I can heal it. Exactly. What if the mage hand starts to kind of push through it? So I'd love to use my ha mage hand, even Great. though I love it. Mm -hmm. I'd love to get it in there on the door and, and put my hand through. Okay, so um, you're casting mage hand to just uh, sort of grab this, this organic thing? Yes. The mage hand also takes 1d4 of lightning damage and therefore um, 
goes away. Uh, that, so I have no mage hand anymore? No, you can use it. You, you just have to recast it. it. <sighs> I broke a nail on it. So you, so you put it in there and it... Guys? So you, you recognize that the outer rim of this zapped it. So guys, the outer rim zapped my hand, so it's really scary. Mm-hmm. Did the outer rim zap me too? Yes. Yeah. Could I maybe try to like thorn, like throw my my vine whip into there to grab it, like try to perfectly like. Yeah. Um, so let's have you do your thorn whip for that, but I'm gonna need you to roll like a um, a sleight of hand. Mm. Okay. Okay, that's plus one. So all right. It's a fourteen. Fourteen. Fifteen. It's a fifteen. All right. So um. You start to pull out this organic thing and it's kind of making this squelchy, screamy kind of noise. And as it starts to almost be pulled out, you ever so slightly tap the rim, um, which zaps you for 1d4. Ah, dang it. Can I try my crossbow? Oh, sorry. One. (laughs) One. Yeah, could you attach a string to your crossbow? Shoot in there and then Do you have pull string? it out. Do you have a string? Uh, in your yeah, bag? I have rope. Yeah, I've got plenty of string. I've, I've been knitting for Wait, I've got, days. I've got rope. I love friends. Could you tie <laughs> some rope to my to to the edge of my hammer? Oh, I thought yeah. you were going to do your crossbow. <laughs> my crossbow? Oh, Jesus Christ. <laughs> sure. <laughs> Sorry, guys, you make fun of me for bringing up my Honestly, crossbow. I can't support you anymore. You have to go on your own, because what I'm doing is just holding you okay, back. How, no, I'm sorry. How, tie it to my crossbow. How, how, my crossbow. How, how, how big are you? How big I are thought you? you guys didn't. I don't, don't want to say it loud. <laughs> no, Under four feet, Shakira height. <laughs> okay, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to cast. I can cast reduced size on you when you go half your size. Then could, you could reach in. Uh, I don't, yeah. What happened to my crossbow idea? Yeah, I, I swear to God. Like, I, like, I liked the bolt idea. I think we Thank got, you, Fernie. You're gonna shoot the thing. You're gonna shoot the thing. It's just, it's organic. I'm round. But you're I don't shooting get it. The you're round. stabbing it. You're stabbing it. <laughs> I think we tie rope to the edge of my crossbow. And then shoot the organic thing. Yes, yes, okay. yes. And, and, and shoot it and pull it back through the door. Okay. You've tied rope to the edge of this, to the end of this bolt. To this um, crossbow. All right, so right? go ahead and to the end, edge of the bolt because you're gonna shoot the bolt in there. Yeah, right? yeah, 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 yeah. Roll to hit for me with that crossbow. P U G. Shh, shh, shh. You can be my crossbow. It's okay. Like. Eighteen. Eighteen plus. I mean that that hits it. Yes. Eight. Um, yes. So the arrow sinks deep into uh, this organic pulsating thing. Um, oh. Roll damage for me, please. It's one d eight. Realize it was had a pulse. Three. Three damage. All right, so three damage. Um, great, so you hear, once again, this like squelch and this sickening scream, and the, uh, <laughs> the outer rim sort of uh, starts to pulsate for a minute and zaps down the string. Um, so you take 1d4 of damage. The string, though, not me, the string. You're holding it. You're yeah. holding it. Shit. Um, but also, if you still want to, as a bonus action, try to pull it out, I'm gonna need a sleight of hand check. Okay, okay. Do it. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. G spells bug. <laughs> Slide of hand check. Okay, okay. Um, that's plus zero. So I just rolled d20. Mm-hmm. D20 plus some zero. 11. <gasps> 11. Um, it's okay. You're holding onto this rope, and oh. even though you got zapped, you're still trying to pull it through, but then the zap happens again, and you have to drop it. Um, okay, at least I didn't throw, I, at least I didn't shoot my crossbow through my fucking sandals. That's true. Um, but there is a live wire rope from it right now. Thanks for the rope, Fernie. <laughs> yeah. We make a good team, too. <laughs> I can't believe the electricity went through the rope. That's pretty <laughs> impressive. You should have used my thread. No electricity ever goes through it. That's true. Except from the power in my fingers. I didn't know you had thread. I've made scarves, and you've denied it every That's time. That's true. So it seems like we have to just get what's in there without doing what my crossbow did, which is hit it. Okay, great idea. Okay, so I'm gonna pull out my two swords. Yes! Nice, okay. Should and we hold then, on to you so you don't like fall in? Please do not touch me. Okay. But wait, if I touch you with my new spell, spell slot of guidance, okay, okay, with guidance you touch one willing creature once before the spell and the target can roll d4 and add that number to the roll. Oh, okay, fine, touch me. You consent to guidance. I consent to, to guidance. Willing creature. From great. Bug. There you go. From Bug. Wow, see? Don't force the relationship. You just let them do it on their own. You know, kids. Right? Right. Roll your sleight of hand, and then uh, we're gonna add four to it. 11 plus... Plus three, plus four. 
18. Uh, well, you got to roll the d4. Oh. Yeah, you can roll the d4 and add it. Well, I have plus three. Plus and four. Okay. So Ooh. that's an 18. All right, so uh, Coda, you start to pull against this organic pulsating thing. Stop and as looking at me like that. Get it. You start to pull against this uh, organic pulsating thing, and as you sort of get to the end of it, eventually there's some give, and you're able to pull out this whole thing. Okay. Um, it splorches off. Splorches? Of, Ew. Splorches onto the ground. <laughs> Pulses for a minute and um, looks like it's about to try to get up and uh, you know start uh, moving and try to attack you, but it is sort of stunned for a second because it's on the ground. What do you do? Again, you are on this very high platform. Uh, I, I guess I should I chop it up, y'all. Yeah. Chop it up. Chop it up. <laughs> Let's ask what's going on with it. You well, want to talk to it? Dude? Yeah. Why is it here? Hey, Dolores, talk to it. Or detect? Like, can I? You can try. 15, communication is key. What are you doing and where are you from and why are you here? <laughs> for he's just oh, like, your mouth. Ah, and then like goes to stomp on it. Your mouth uh, is up here. <laughs> roll to hit for unarmed strike. Uh, that's a 14 uh, plus three. Okay, so um, you <laughs> smash this thing. Um, and uh, you see the sort of metal, you know, ridge around that hole in the wall um, brightly flash for a minute, and then get really dim, and the line sort of connecting into the door just fizzles away. Oh. Go through okay. the door. Go through the door. Go through the door. <gasps> uh, no, there's still more in this room. As you are all standing there, you feel the ground beneath your feet uh, completely give out and drop, um, and it lands all of you onto this. Uh, this uh, slide situation that drops you down to the ground very, very quickly. Woo! Okay, this is incredible. <laughs> For any slides, so I just like, doof, poof, and like <laughs> down. I gracefully, I'm like, I slide man. perfectly, but my dress goes all the way up <laughs> over my head, and I'm like, it's so dark, it's a black hole. I'm like, pull your dress down, Dolores. <laughs> well, don't look. Oh, I wasn't looking, but you couldn't see. You're a sick boy. <laughs> Um, okay, I go, I'm going over to the pool. What's going on in the pool? In the the pool one. I'm coming. I'm gonna go check out to the, the hot hole again. Right, Checking so out the wait, hot it's, hole. it's the pool and there's the hot hole. That's what's left. There's the pool and the hot hole. All right, <laughs> I'm gonna go check out the hot there's hole. There's a hot, the hot hole. hole. I think the there's knew it. I think there's more to be seen in the okay. hot hole. Okay, but you're, oh, sorry. I'm gonna go with Fernie. So you two are going to the hot hole. You're, are you going with the I'm going to the pool. Going to the pool, great. <laughs> um, so we'll start with you then. Um, so uh, Dolores and Coda, even though it's kind of dark, you can see sort of like in one of the far walls of the pool, um, there is another sort of recess in the wall um, that look a little bit similar. Uh, and you can see the, just the faintest glint of metal. Can um, I detect uh, magic? You can, sure. It's the same thing. Is there magic? Um, you see, again, in the same giant blue pulsing room, um, there is a, a bit of a concentration, the same way there was with the platform area, um, just right here on the wall. Oh my god, they're little entrances. Uh, they are little entrances. Am I way behind? Yes, a okay. little bit. Uh, <laughs> well, can you describe what's going on with the hot hole? Sure. What are you guys doing at the hot hole? So first, we, we walk up to the hot hole and be like, uh, look, so I've, I looked at this, and I, uh, what I've figured out is that it's a hot hole. But I don't know what's inside this 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 hot, hot hole. Anything. But if we solve it, they're gonna think we're so cool. We're gonna be get so much. We're gonna get all the glory from this. I tried yeah. to figure out what this is. I yeah. I couldn't figure it out. So maybe you can. Okay. Take okay. It. okay. 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 All I know is lately I've been really coming into my own. If I pray. <laughs> oh, okay. I was gonna say you could just like try to perceive what's going on. With yeah. It, but maybe I could detect you. magic or pass without trace. That's also true. Or, Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna cast guidance on myself. And, okay, nice. And, and just look at this hole. <laughs> nice. Go ahead and roll a d20 for me. Sixteen. Sixteen. Plus. Wow. You know, it's not gonna really matter what you add to it. Um, this is the same kind of hole as above. You can see that there is something organic inside that is pulsating. Uh, very different shape, but same kind of style. Oh. Wait. Oh, okay. Do you still have that that sword I gave you? Yeah, I've got that sword. Do you have something else we can use? Um, I have a, uh, uh, I have a hand axe. I have a boomerang. I can use the boomerang and the, and the sword. sword. Okay. I say go for uh, it. So I, I take out the sword Wait, and the boomerang. Before you use it, should we do that really vulnerable thing we did that one time? <sighs> yeah, I was just thinking that too. Let's make sure no one's looking. Okay. Um, roll. Both of you roll deception. 
to see if you can just stealthily do this. Four. Uh, uh, ten plus four. Awesome. Fourteen. Go for it. Okay. okay. I don't think they're looking. Okay. Okay, cool. That was awesome. <laughs> what does she roll? Uh, 14. 14 and then it was a four. So um, you look over and um, Coda and Dolores are like looking up from the pool, staring directly at you. And then you turn around and there's Kevin the Moth and an army of other moths going like, sick, dope. Nice. <laughs> oh, shit. Patty cake. Patty cake, yeah. No. That wasn't what you saw. That was the thing, that wasn't that. That was, um... <laughs> okay, let's get your boomerang. All right, so I, I like, kind of like my forearms open up and they, like both Whoa. of them are there and I'm like, I grab them both out of each side. <laughs> and then I very carefully try to lean in and Great. grab them. Uh, roll side of hand for me, please. <laughs> That's a two. It's a two. Um, so Fernie, um, you sort of like uh, get this blast of hot air from this kind of <laughs> organ looking thing in the wall and it stings your eyes and you rear back and uh, you zap yourself against the wall pretty f***ing hard. Um, go ahead and uh, no. roll another d4 of damage for me, please. We're getting bodied by this. That's a four. four. That's a four damage right there. Am I allowed to pick up his... Uh, his uh... You can do whatever the f*** Okay, you. can I pick up his... Take it. <laughs> okay. Okay. Take it. Okay, it's okay, it's okay, it's okay, it's okay. It's okay. Nobody, saw. Ah. nobody saw. Nobody saw, nobody saw, nobody saw. I'm okay. too big to try. <laughs> okay. I should have thought about it. Okay. Nobody saw, nobody saw. Okay. <laughs> nobody saw, nobody saw, don't worry. Okay, good. Anytime I get hurt, I just I just saw myself, nobody saw. Okay, so then um, I take that sword mm -hmm. that I gave him and the other thing, and should I roll? Yes, roll turning? side of hand. Oh, side of hand. Yeah. Plus zero. That's nine. a nine. Um, you also get zapped, bug. Damn it. Uh, <laughs> I'm sorry, I don't. Can come back over here. It's okay, it's okay, right. nobody saw it. Nobody saw it, nobody saw it, don't worry. All that matters is if we solve this puzzle yeah. before they solve their puzzle, we're cool. Are you, can you get up? Can you do it again? Can you try it again? Yeah, well, I'm gonna go again right now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm gonna do it again, we're gonna be fine. <laughs> we're gonna be fine. Here, give me the, give me the stuff, give me the stuff. All right, I'm going in again. Nobody's looking, nobody's looking. It's oh my god. Or you get zapped. You get zapped for a damage. That's a one. one. Okay, 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 can we have a turn? Can we have no, a turn after no, them? They're taking no, they got, got two. This. When do we get one? <laughs> Bug, yes, okay, so oh. I'm sorry. I want this just as much as you. Um, so Bug, uh, with all the finesse of a little guy, uh, you splorch this giant splorch. organ thing out of uh, the wall here, and it's just pulsating there, and you see it start to like move and grow a little bit. You've got one second, what do you do? I pull out a gun. <laughs> <laughs> What do you do? Okay. What okay. is the thing you do when you like um, in wrestling when they stand up? Oh, you're gonna put. You should do it. Uh, Body slam. Our arm bar. Or whatever. <laughs> or, uh, yeah. Uh, can for, I suplex? For, you should sit on it. <laughs> oh, can Bernie sit on it? Uh, yeah. Bernie you know just what? like jumps up, grabs the behinds of his knees, and then like, cannonballs. Oh, cannonballs on top it. of it. Um, okay, run. Uh, That's what's an your unarmed strike, strike damage. It's plus three. It's two uh, damage type two bludgeoning. Two bludgeoning. Uh, plus three. Let's say that uh, we'll do that twice because it's your whole f***ing body weight. <laughs> okay. <laughs> that's an 18. Yeah, you land on it squarely. So that's four damage. Awesome. Um, okay, this thing starts to get up and looks at you, Fernie. Um, and uh, out of this organ aspect of it uh, sprouts some teeth. And it starts to try oh, to chomp God. at you. Um, and so it rolls a, uh, does a 11 hit for you? Uh, I don't Tracy. think so. It does uh, not. No. So it swipes right on past you. Um, so Bug, you're uh, watching all this happen. Uh, are you going to do anything in this moment? I'm going to take my hammer out. Mm -hmm. Wait, come on, come on. Tell it to take it out. Okay, plus three. 13. Okay, uh, so you do hit it. Roll your damage. Okay, my it is D4 plus one for bludgeoning. Amazing. Okay. So it's a two. Two. Um, plus okay, uh, plus one for bludgeoning. Okay, yeah. Yeah, you know what? Uh, you conk this thing over where you think its head might be, and it just splorches down to the ground. It's like, uh, and it's just there, motionless. Uh, you can assume dead, and then the line running from the hot hole, um, uh, making its way to the door, just sort of disintegrates in this like red powder. Fernie, um, you guys, you got. Hey, you're gonna wish you'd seen that. <laughs> 
Uh, Dolores just opens her eyes from a nap. Maybe <laughs> she's like, "Oh, great, we're still here." Great. I awesome. was meditating. I was trancing. Um, so I'm gonna use my unseen servant to help us out. Oh, great! Oh. Yeah, I'm gonna send that little little nasty gal to um, down to the bottom clothing. of the pool mm -hmm. to right. put her to put. What do I have in my bag? I got a crowbar. <laughs> And I have bagpipes. Use the bagpipes like to the two. <laughs> use the two things. All right. Okay. My unseen Chopsticks. servant is going to. I'm going to hang on to my unseen servant. They are going to grip the bagpipes, and I'm going to bring them down. They're going to use Fernie the two things. Fernie sees this from across the room. He's just like, "You had bagpipes, <laughs> and you didn't use those during, during the, the performance. performance." I can't do a split and do bagpipes. I needed only the whistle stick. I know myself and my own strength. I know my limits. You didn't need to do the aerial stuff. <laughs> yes, I did. No one was doing a visual. Over the course of our, our adventures, I have learned frustration from you guys, <laughs> and I am feeling it right now. Well, welcome. Welcome, yeah. Okay, so can I squeeze in, and the bagpipes are like muffled underwater. <laughs> well, so you're not, is the unseen servant is doing this? Yeah, yeah. but but I, yeah, 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 they are. Yeah. Okay, so I want uh, you to go ahead and roll a sleight of hand for unseen servant. They don't have a plus or a minus there. It just is what it is, straight roll. 17. 17, okay. So, um, <laughs> Dolores, your unseen servant pulls out <laughs> this um, splorching. Again, different shape, different kind of shape, but it's clearly something organic, and pulls it out into the water and just sort of looks up at you for like extra commands. Like it's it's out there in the water just underneath. Great job, Gina. Now bring the bagpipe <laughs> out of the water. <laughs> Mm. Great mm. job, honey. Bring the bagpipe out of the water and drop it. She I'm so it glad she has a name. Flops it down. Yeah. <laughs> Unseen servant is It too felt great. like an unpaid intern. Yeah. All right, Gina. Coda? Shing. Slicing. Uh, plus what with your sword? Uh, five. Plus five. Okay, so that does hit. Roll damage. Three plus three. Uh, that okay, great. So you slice this thing clearly in half. It doesn't even have a chance to like try to splorch at you to communicate. Um, this uh, metal line again following the wall uh, disintegrates. And Dolores, your detect magic is still up. You see that the blue sheet over this door goes and completely uh, stops. <gasps> nice. Yeah. Last one, they're stupid. <laughs> uh, Fernie, trip. <laughs> <laughs> um, all right, so you're all following Fernie through this door? Yeah. Can I leave Gina behind or? Yeah, she just evaporated. So fed up. Hey, Gina, well done. Get your ass out of here. Save yourself. You enter this room and uh, you see stained glass everywhere and long rows of pews, um, but these pews look a little bit more comfortable than normal. There's a lot of cushions lining them. Uh, they're not this hard situation. Uh, Dolores, this is what you would call a cistern, but what everyone else would call like a church lounge. Uh -huh. um, so standing next to the pulpit um, are, are two uh, uh, cigar, cigar monks. Okay. Um, both standing there. Uh, and Fernie, you recognize these, even though they've transformed from cigar to human, you recognize these as the ones that you had uh, conversed yes. with before, um, so they know you. Hell yeah. They shout, they're like, ah, Fernie's back. Yes, Fernie's back. Good to see you. What's up, guys? Hey. Good to see you again. Hey, what's up, Man, slime? Dude, you're looking great. <laughs> That's awesome. Back at you, yeah, we're back to being human. That's awesome, now you can actually smoke cigars. You aren't, like, it must be a different experience. Feels a little tainted now. <laughs> Uh, yeah, I'm sure. Well, anyway, we're back to our normal job of guarding this ancient door, the only door in the church lounge. Hasn't been opened in oh. decades, eons. That's pretty cool. Look, my my friends and I, they're they're cool. Hey, what's up, Slime? Hello. Uh, okay, my name's Dolores Paradise, not Slime. It won't come up. We need to get through that door. All right, well, you know, you know me, you know, we're cool. Uh, we are cool, but we do have a job to do, but hey, tell you what. We'll only make answer one riddle instead of three. <gasps> okay. Oh, oh yeah. okay. We were super ready to have you do this whole slew of riddles, but the last, uh, you know, we were ready like 15 minutes ago, but I think you guys were a little later than we expected. Who among you is the smartest and wisest? You will step up to answer the riddle here. Most perceptive, most wise, most intelligent. We can't, Coda. Really, we can't really answer it as a team. We kind of do everything as a team these days. Yeah, we do everything as a team. Yeah, and I vote Coda. <laughs> so be it. Team Coda. No, no, no. Step forward. Team Coda. Wait, no, no. That's not our name. All right. If that is not your name, then step forward, all four of you, and do you have a name? 
Um, I mean, I kind of like Team Coda. But... No, no, we don't really have a name. Friends with a Z. Yes, no. because we're friends, but we're cool. Yeah, that's so Sp lame. Spelled K E W L, cool. Oh God. What? It's K E W L Z F R I E N D Z. That can't be our name. I don't know what that is? All right, let's <laughs> let's table it. There are two doors, and you look, and there's actually a second door what? next to that one, one large and one small. <laughs> and he goes, um, our riddle is as follows, a classic yet difficult. One of us always lies. The other is ridiculously thick. Which door are you going through? Okay, I'd like to make a perception check. Great. You're not doing well. <laughs> Can I make a perception check? I wanna, I wanna resolve this first and then yes. Um, Coda, um, you are um, staring at both of these people mm -hmm. and um, you think they are both uh, thin as a rail. Absolutely thin as a rail. Because the, the pulpit is sort of blocking you and you're not really thinking to look to the left or right mm -hmm. and you're just sort of like, oh, mm -hmm. they both are probably the same, same size, mm -hmm. I guess. They're, uh, they're referring to themselves. Ridiculously thick. Okay. Um, could I ask, uh, could, I, could I be like, hey, respectfully, could you both give me a little spin? Yeah, you can uh, persuade them, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> respectfully. That's a sick, or that's a nine. nine. plus. Uh, charisma is, uh, or persuasion is minus one, so that's an eight. That's an eight. Um, Bug, do you want to help guide him a little bit? Uh, can I cast, oh, oh yes, I'll, I'll, ca yeah. I'll cast For guidance. For any of these, guidance, guidance, guidance going yes. down. Yeah. Guidance, yeah. So you can roll a d4 to add. Okay. Four. Okay. Um, okay, so you know what? You're Fernie and you know these guys. So that's yeah. that's a 12. Roll a d20 for me one more time. You get advantage on this check. Okay. It's a two. <laughs> Can I roll guidance on okay. that d20? So I have a so, plus five charisma. Okay, so um, do you want to help and also chime in and say something to that effect? Yeah, respectfully, spin around. Yeah, okay. Respectfully, let me see that A. Respectfully, let me see that ass. Buddy. That's wow. 20, Thank 25. You. That Thank is a you. nat 20, crap. making it 25. And they look at you in the eye, Dolores, and they go, whoa, you never told us about your hot mom. Yes, yes! Today is my day! There's two of us. Is that um, your first nat 20 of the campaign? I think maybe. After you said let me see that Let me see that ass. That's sort of that, That's what Dolores would yeah, crush. Truly. So these guys, um, <laughs> Do like a little turn around and wiggle. And then as they both get to like the part where they show you their backside, they both immediately turn around and look and they say, he's the thick one. The guy goes, I'm the thick one. And they say, and that's the door. And they say, and that's the door. And they're like, you didn't detect magic. It wasn't sealed. We just wanted to show you how took us is. And then they high five and do an awesome thing. And they're like, sup, slime. Um, and then, awesome. uh, that's Which it. door did they point to? They point to the smaller one. Okay, great. Yeah. Okay. So that's the door. So does anyone know what just happened? Well, one of them always lies, so if they both pointed to the door. Okay, wait, can I cast Zone of Truth? Yes, so this circle opens up around them, um, which means that they cannot lie. Yeah. So one of them says, no, oh, you caught me. I said one of us always lies, but the fact is that was a lie. Both of us most of the time tell the truth. <laughs> Such a fun game. And then they light up a cigar and they're like, I missed this, I missed this, I missed okay, this. Okay, so which door? Small door. Which door? So small which door? door, small door, small door, small door. door. Oh, small Let's door. do it. So you open up the small door, and um, Fernie, you actually, and, and Bug, you actually recognize um, this area very well. What was previously locked behind a very stalwart and staunch, um, like iron blockade, um, is the vault. Oh hell and yeah! In this vault, um, you see mountains and mountains of gold. Um, there are these incredible, um, you know, uh, lattice structure windows with bars over them, so you can tell it's been secure for a long time. But um, there is just this beautiful, beautiful chest in the middle, this beautiful, ornate chest, huge, huge. And as beautiful as this area is around it and as um, opulent as it is, you can tell that this chest is clearly the fanciest thing here. Can I detect yes. magic? Yes, you can detect magic. 
you start to see this blue pulsating energy from the ceiling again, just like you've seen with every room in this shifting castle. Uh. But you can see it all sort of start to funnel in um, as this like gossamer thread of really deep, bright blue energy uh, goes from the ceiling to the chest. the chest. So you can see that almost everything is connected to this. Guys, Tomorrow. there's something inside of the chest. That's where the magic's coming from. Mm. Am I behind? Um, no, you're right on time. Fuck yeah. Can we open it? No. Roll Arcana for me. Let's yeah. see if you actually know this. 15 plus, plus five. Okay, so uh, speak freely about what you think this is, Coda. We're in a castle of mimics, mm. and mimics are famously known to take the form of treasure chests. And if it's looking that nice in the middle of the room and there's a lot of magic going to it from the castle, I think that chest is the, the core mimic. slash mimic. And you think that mimic is that chest is probably gonna fucking kill us. Oh, well, not if we kill it first. <gasps> Do you think it knows that we're in here? I don't know, but we're talking right in front of it. Shit. Before we do this, um, I know I'm a little hurt from that performance. I'm at, oh, okay. Okay, also the shocking. Okay, yeah, I yet. know. You know what, Fernie's not, Fernie's just learning how to perform. <laughs> I am a veteran, I understand that. So I'm at full health, I'm at 33, so I'm fucking ready to fucking do some damage. I'm, I'm missing some health, so I could uh, toss yeah. a pie at my face. I could use a pie too. Yeah. Ready? Yeah. Catch. His jaw just goes like. Chur, chur. I love when he does Horrifying. that. I can use a pie. Bug, you ready? Catch. Uh, what is the pie? Oh, me, 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 me. Uh, four. Coda, catch. Three. The pie does she, 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 four. She, she. Yeah. <gasps> that was so cute. Here I go. Catch. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. That's stupid. That is Damn so dumb. It. Uh, Bug, I could use a little more. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, I'll Especially cure your wounds. I'll cure your wounds. Cure your wounds. Uh, I'll use good berries, so that gives me ten berries. I'm gonna eat two of them and give the rest to whoever who needs them. I'm fine. I could use six. All right, I'll give you six. Cool. Thank you. Six berries. I'm gonna use my second level cure wounds, which means, sorry, when you cast a spell, using a spell out of second level. Seven. Uh, yeah. Nice. Nice. Okay, so it feels like we're all healed. Yeah, um, okay. Let me get the squad together. This is gonna be nuts, so no one freak out. So uh, I'm gonna use Conjure Animals. Okay. Uh, which is conjuring? level three. Mm -hmm. I, uh, love, I love this. So he's like, all right, let's 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 jam. And then <laughs> uh, the, the, all of a sudden next to him, uh, like beams of light appear, and two uh, brown bears wearing backwards caps and sunglasses, and they, they like skateboard out. Yeah. And they're both just like, yo, what's up? I'm Rip and I'm Dip. And we're brown bears and we're freaking cool. <laughs> and uh, their animal uh, friends are uh, so cool. <laughs> on top of that, uh, Fernie just goes, I know. And then he starts to transform and he fully transforms into a brown bear as well. Yeah. Brown what? Bear. Okay. So it's three brown bears just ready to go. And they're nice. like, he, he forms up and then they all are just like, and they all like pose. And it's really sick so as hell. That is so rad. That is pretty yeah. sick as hell. I wrap my bag around okay. me a few times so it doesn't drag while I'm fighting. Okay. And I put my two braids and I tie them up around the top of my head. And I just start to do a couple squats just to get the thighs fired up. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And I look at everyone and I go, I love you all. <laughs> You're gonna see some fucked up shit about to happen. <laughs> okay, I love that. Okay, I guess if we're preparing, I'm like going full Super Saiyan and my hair's like flying up. Ooh. Sand is like circling me, little flames around the circle. And I'm like, oh. <laughs> I'm like, oh. And like one of me pops off, one of me pops off, and there's another one. And we're like, ooh, ooh. No. It's like pitch perfect. <laughs> oh God. <laughs> There's three Coda and one Adam Divine. Um, <laughs> yeah. So I got the ma magic. Oh my God. Wow. Okay, if we're doing good. that, can I cast my mirror image? If we're doing yeah. that, yeah. we're doing that. That's exactly we're doing that. We're doing that. Okay. This is the, this is Avengers this, Endgame. Right this, is Avengers, now. this is Avengers Endgame Losers Edition. Okay. So I get my I get my the mirror losers. image. That's the losers. That's our name. So I get I get my mirror image and I'm like, hey mother. A lot of shit has changed, but now we're embracing prayer. Let's go! I don't know who said it, but someone said that 
it feels like every time something bad happens to us, something worse happens to us next. And it feels like this is this has been all in leading up to this moment where we claim that and we say no. Right. That's right. Claim back our power. We're the authors of our own fate. Or story. Or story. This is crazy. There's three bears in the room. Yeah. With multiple codas. I was expecting Fernie to respond, but I guess he's a bear. Yeah, I mean, uh, <laughs> Oh, never mind. <laughs> sorry, I'm in bear mode. I kind of influenced by rip and dip, and man, you know, I think about it, it's freaking shreds what we're doing. Oh. And rip is there just like, yeah, dude. <laughs> <laughs> I feel you. <laughs> Guys, let's get it. Let's get what is owed to us. We signed that contract. We're in a house of tongues. Let's fucking do this thing. We fucking deserve so, this. House of tongues. What do you do individually? Three bear attack. <laughs> Straight up, like all of us. Fernie also makes like one of his like he has a skateboard slide out, and they so they all skateboard straight at this uh, this chest. They all leap at the same time, and they all have multi attacks, so they all can use bite and claws. Okay, great. So then let's um, let's roll for three bites, and then we'll roll for three claws. Okay, so the bite is plus five to hit. So first we have Fernie. Uh, it's a four. Does not hit. Okay, he misses. Just. Goes right past. Uh, that's a two. Does not hit. Okay, misses as well. And that's a six. Does not hit. All right. Um, so, so what? <laughs> uh, now they have their claws, though. So, yeah, so they have their claws. So they're like, that's fine. That was just that was just uh, to scare. It's okay, you're uh -huh. scared. Uh -huh. you're All right, so first goes Fernie. Uh, that's a six. Does not hit. Uh, that's a 17. That hits. Yeah. Well, rip, rip gets a rip. Rip curl. And then dip. Uh, 19. That yeah. also hits, so roll damage for both of those. Okay, so that is uh, 2d6 plus 4 for one of them. 5, 6, so that's 11 plus 4, uh, so that's uh, 15, 15 for one of them. Yep. 5, Five. 6, so that's 15 uh, damage from so both of them. Okay, that is, f so that's 30 damage total from you and your bears. Um, and rip and dip. Fernie completely whiffed it all. Yeah, but you project managed. That's important. <laughs> yeah. Um, all right. So, uh, given that, you're looking at this beautiful ornate chest, and all of a sudden, the pearlescent sides crumble in and start to slide in with the rest of this gold. And out of this bursts um, this giant mouth with huge, fangorious teeth, and gold coins are flying everywhere. And out of it, is one giant tendril that starts whipping around in rage. Um, it is this huge, huge, huge horde mimic. Um, a very ancient and old mimic that is part of uh, the kind of treasure you would find in an old vault that's been locked out of, way, out of the way for a long, long, long time. So, uh, now let us roll initiative, everybody. It's just one tentacle? It's just one tentacle, yes. Okay. Ooh. Eight. Oh, wait. One. All right. Eight. 18 plus five. 23. Okay. Wait, uh, wait. Oh, uh, sorry. 10. All right, so first up in this fight against the Horde Mimic after the bears have charged in is Bug. Bug, what would you like to do to this Horde Mimic? Okay, I want to toll the dead. Toll the dead, let's do it. Ooh. So describe what that looks like to you. All right, I'm going to point to this fucking chest with a thing sticking out of it or whatever the you just described, and then coming from my freaking being, this bell sound just comes into the space and it fills the space and it hits this target. Mm -hmm. And I think I roll my d8. Is, what is I do. there a to hit or a save of any kind? The or? target must succeed on a wisdom saving throw. All right, uh, wisdom save 13. 13. Um, that is a step, it does hit. <gasps> Um, so the sound of this bell uh, starts to mess with this mimic that has been uh, completely alone for the longest time. Go ahead and roll 2d12 of damage. Ding! There's a one. Woo! <laughs> you said two. Yep. Ding! It's a seven, so it does eight yeah. damage. <laughs> okay, <laughs> we're playing now. Nice. Yeah, baby. Um, next up, this mimic uh, is absolutely livid. Um, so, Fernie, it turns to you, and it's going to start out with a bite. Um, it's going to do its best to hit you. And it does, uh, does a 14 hit? Uh, armor Actually, class 14. Actually, 16, rather. Okay, so 16 does hit. It rolls 2d10 plus five. Um, all right, and this is piercing. So it does 
Five plus seven is 12. So it does 17 piercing against you, Fernie. All right, let's see. And then it does 2d6 acid damage. Four plus one, so five acid damage. So I'm at 12. So that uh, was a huge hit for you. What was yeah, that total? Yeah. Uh, that that was so he Fernie's down to his bear form is down to 12 health. Down to 12 health. Okay, bug. Um, it is also pretty pissed at you from this whole bell situation. <laughs> yeah, because um, it's loud. So this pseudopod uh, like whipping tentacle is whipping at you now. Um, and that does, ooh, it is a natural one. So it is so um, completely distracted by this sound that you had made uh, that it actually whips back onto itself and takes a few damage here. <laughs> it takes one damage and it actually hits itself. Stop hitting okay. yourself. Stop hitting yourself. <laughs> yes, bug. Stop hitting yourself. Yes, bug. It. It, Thanks, Coda. All four uh, of us laugh. It hears you say this and it is so absolutely pissed and livid because it, somehow can understand common. I didn't know it had ears. Yeah, I guess it does. Um, that it's going to try to hit you one more time, Bug. Um, does a 13 hit you? No, I'm 14. You do? Amazing, so it goes whoosh, and lands directly next to you, blasting nice. coins all around, um, but misses. Um, Dolores, it nice. is your turn. We're all very close to this, to this little treasure chest. So I want to make sure that I hit it and not anyone else. Okay. And I am I'm pretty pissed. Okay. Because I do not like to be lied to. Right. And when I sign something, you better deliver. You right. know what I'm saying, bud? Anyways. <laughs> I'm not here. <laughs> you know what I'm saying, bug? Yeah, it's a paperwork issue, I get it. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. I hate papers. Okay. I'm going to Eldridge Blast this mother Great. And now that you're level five, that is twice as strong now, right? Yes. Okay, great. So go ahead and roll your to hit with the Eldridge Blast. 10. Plus? Five, 15. So that does hit. Go ahead and roll 2d10 for me. It's a 10. And then. You got real scared. Mm -hmm. That was a zero. Five. A five. So that's 15 damage. That's really good. Amazing. That's right. Amazing, that's amazing. That's because there's little, there were little thorns in there. I okay. stripped the thorns from the roses and I just did thorns this time because Ooh. this bitch doesn't deserve flowers. Know what I'm saying? I, I hear you. <laughs> You're here, right? I'm still in, the, I, Damien Haas, am in the room going like, what the f what the f <laughs> what the f um, Okay, uh, it is now Coda's turn. Okay, dope, so. Get it. So all four of us are running in here, singing our acapella. Uh, shun, shun, and we're, uh, shun, we're like, shun. it's like, uh, we're like, he can't even tell which ones. We're like crossing and jumping over each other with our swords pulled out. Gorgeous. Um, and so we're already blade singing. We're already, our song is far past starting. So as a bonus action, I'm gonna do Ashar Dalin's Stride. I was gonna say. Which <laughs> makes, our, makes me really fast and I have flames out the back of my feet. Right. And so I'm like sprint, all four of us look like we have flames and so we're sprinting towards it. Um, we get close to it and it automatically gets 1d6 fire damage when mm -hmm. I move close to it. Amazing. Fuck yeah. Um, and that's a bonus action. Yes. Okay, great. 1d6 of fire damage. Yes. You're singing, so Bug under her under his breath is like, that's why didn't Coda do the performance? <laughs> <laughs> that's a good point. Two, Two extra fine. fire damage, that's okay. good. Okay, and then I'm going to hit, uh, we'll just, we'll hit it twice for now. Okay. Yeah. Right. Um, so we're gonna do some cool slashy shit. Nice, nice. Twice. I wish. 16 plus? Uh, plus uh, five. Amazing, that definitely hits. Okay, um, and rolling for damage. Yes. Plus three. Four. So that's uh, seven damage, great. Oh, plus three. And then rolling to hit again? Yes. Mm. It's whiffing. All right, so that one does whiff, unfortunately. Bug, it is, it is your turn. Yes, I would like to bonus action cure Fernie's wounds. I love that. Go ahead and roll that healing for me. So I'm gonna roll my 1d8 twice. Yes. Okay. That's an eight. Eight. Nice. Woo, four. four. So that's 12 back for Fernie. So that's 20. So Fernie's, Fernie's back pretty good. So these boards like get back on him and he's just like, yeah. Amazing. I secretly look at you and I go, I love this. Um, all right, so it is the Mimic's turn again. That was my bonus action. Oh, sorry, please. Yeah, continue. great, okay, so I'm looking at my stuff and feeling really good. You know when they, they <laughs> feel good about yourself, you do well. Okay, so inflict wounds, I'll do that uh, at my, I'll do four D10s, because I can do that at my second, uh, my fourth level. Second level. My second level. So I'll do, yes, so I'll do inflict wounds on my second level. 
That's incredible. Okay, uh, go ahead and roll to hit on that. 18. Plus five, that definitely hits. Three. 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 What is going on with the nine? nine? 15 total. Eight. Eight. So that is 23 damage Hell to this yeah, thing. Bro. Incredible. So y'all are looking at this mimic horde and you can tell that even though this is clearly the most powerful being you've fought so far, harder than the witch from yesterday, harder than potentially the turtle dragon, but you don't know, you had to run from it. Um, it is clearly extremely damaged and it's hurt. It's slowing down a little bit and it's going to whip out and lash out at you in rage. And uh, it getting from Bug just now, its mouth is going to open wide again and you are right there from putting your hand on it and inflicting wounds. So it's going to try to hit you with its mouth and it does a 26 definitely is gonna hit. So it rolls 2d10 plus five. So on you Bug, it does 10, one, so 11 and that's 16. So it's gonna do 16 damage to you. Whoa. How, where are you at Bug, how are you at? I'm at 21. At 21, all right. Um, it is once again going to try to whip at Fernie with his hand. We've got um, this, we got it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm feeling better. There's Good. A, there's a 16 hit. <laughs> yes. All right, so it does 2d6 plus five. So we're gonna have uh, eight plus five, so that's 13 damage. Yeah, we're all good. <laughs> <laughs> Amazing. Uh, 13 you said? Uh, yes. Okay, great. And then one more time, um, it's going to attack, uh, it's gonna whip out at Chance, excuse me, it's gonna whip out at Coda with its other arm, and it rolls an 11, does an 11 hit? No. So it whiffs by you, slams on the, the gold on the ground again, letting it fly. Dolores, you, it is your turn next, and you've just watched this new family of yours take so much damage, and your feelings are mixed with pride at them doing so well, and fear of losing another family. And it's your turn. So you dig deeper within yourself and you start to channel some strength into either- I stay. Into anything you want to do. Um, and even though you feel proud of these people and you know that they have it in their hearts to do this, you're afraid of losing them. Bug is actually pretty hurt and so is Fernie. And as you start to let yourself think, potentially this could all go away you hear something in the distance, a jangling in rhythm. And you see this flowing black hair and this, uh, this, this tan skin rippling you know, abs and it's Gunthar. Yeah. And he's wheeling around in front of you toward the horde mimic. Yeah, I barely have a voice, but I go, boy, do I have an update for you. <laughs> so Gunthar looks at this horde mimic and then turns around to the rest of the group and says, I'm afraid that update's gonna have to wait. I can't let you do this. And he holds up his blade to you guys. And that's the end of this episode of Sword AF. Please join us next week for the thrilling conclusion of this season. Never trust your exes. <laughs> <laughs> Dog, y'all never dated. What? Oh, that's embarrassing oh, for you. Well, we, we had conversations. We <laughs> dated. You, you never made it past Gunthar the talking so stage. Bad. This is wild. Yeah.